All right, welcome to the final session, at least within this series of Splatoon for the Wii U. We had a partial multiplayer stream the last time after finishing the Amiibo content. But this will be an entirely multiplayer stream. Yeah, I gotta respect the hedgy hoggo. Currently in rotation, Arowana Mall and Flounder Heights for Turf War. Splat Zones at Black Belly and Piranha Pit for Ranked. Let's try and get to some weapon types I didn't get to the last time. Hmm, didn't play Slosher the last time. Didn't play Blaster the last time. But the original sloshing machine just had Splat Bomb Rush. Yeah, I mean, they did the Mario... Then They did Mario, right? Mario versus Luigi. This is Sploon 1. Which means the online might be a bit jank. We're gonna find out. <laughs> and last time, it was a little jank. Oh, the original Tri-Slosher design, back when it was a green bucket and a circle. Ah, the yellow bucket with the bazooka. So many options. But I think I'm going to go with, where did it go? I, where's the, I passed it earlier. It's, no, uh, let's try sloshing machine. Um, and in as far as this goes, we definitely want some amount of damage up, although my sweat has that. Oh, no. I do want to, I do want to charge that special. So that could be good. Get the special up and then maintain it in a quick death sort of way. Uh, ink recovery, some defense, sure. And then where is my damage? It is kind of amazing they didn't go with Splatoon as like the name of the second Splatoon game. <laughs> Let's say it has Ink Recovery, Special Saver, and two damage up. Maybe I'll switch the boots. Could go for a Stealth Jump approach. A little bit of swim speed on that, or can I get a main of swim speed? That's a one slot thing. I guess I'll just go back to this shoe. But then I, I shouldn't try and overthink my gear here because this is a dying game and the matches may not even be seen through to the end anyway. <laughs> But to how y'all doing? Sure, well, plenty of time to chat with the loading screens. Or the, the lobbies. However you want to word it. Oh no, an evil sprig. Although that is an English name, which is interesting. Let's see, uh, we are hitting a milestone in the school year at my main job. It's the end of the trimester, almost. Which means all the kids who didn't do stuff when they should have are doing it now in hopes of redeeming themselves. Which means extra work for me because they all come at once. I'm still working really hard to find ways to prevent that from happening. Boy, there's, go there's gonna be some changes second trimester. You can count on it. I can't guarantee they're going to work, 
but I'm going to change stuff. So that way, it can't be my fault. Because <laughs> if I know it's not working and I don't change anything, well, then that's my fault. But if I try and change something and it still doesn't work, uh, then it's a little more the kid's fault. Wow, I'm in spectator, but, well, anti-spectator mode, I guess. I'm on the wait list for a whole minute, eight minutes, seven minutes, six minute, five, and so on. All right, WarioWare Move It releases tomorrow at the time of this live stream. Looking forward to that. I quite enjoyed Smooth Moves. I've considered streaming that in the past, although the camera setup would have to be wildly different to accommodate the motion controls in the different poses. But Smooth Moves was my jam. So I'm counting on Move It to be the successor I've always wanted. Although, you know, Wario has become quite bossy lately. I mean, I know he's the head of his WarioWare company. But when you put the last two titles together, the last one was Get It Together, and now he's telling us to move it. So first he just wants us to get all our stuff together, and now he's telling us we're not doing a good enough job. We gotta do it faster. Like, just imagine someone saying that to you. Like, come on, man. Get it together. But also move it. Bossy, bossy, bossy. Bossy, 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 bossy. Uh, the teams are viewing the results. I can't see the results, but they sure did. And... Uh, we're, we're in, um, we got four people now. With the game by itself, sure. But when taken in tandem with Get It Together, I'm not quite so sure. Well, as uh, the last WarioWare before, Get It Together was gold, right? Maybe he's just telling us to scrounge money quickly. Gold! Get it together! And move it! Because I want gold! I'm Wario! Yeah, he's playing the long game. Well, Shake It was Wario Land, right? Kind of considered a separate series. But yeah, if you combine it with Shook's Move Moves, it, you could certainly tell someone to shake it and then follow up by telling them they have Smooth Moves. And one can shake it by themselves. I would also be down for a new Wario Land. <laughs> I never really gave Shake It the time it needed. I, I, my mom played Shake It more than I did. But she doesn't play WarioWare because she doesn't do well with all the time limits coming fast paced. It's just not her type of game. But she would uh, actually pick up a Wario Land. <laughs> So because Nintendo is clearly watching this stream of their Wii U game for which they're shutting down the servers from a small time streamer, I must tell them, release a Wario Land game. There are three guaranteed customers between me, my mom, and my mod. Now I'm imagining Wario Land with Wonder Flowers. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, free idea. Free idea. 
We just had this very highly praised 2D Mario game that's been more creative than the last bunch. And it had many playable characters, but Wario was not one of them. So, hear me out. Wario infiltrates the Flower Kingdom and has his own adventure and it's DLC from Wonder that plays like Wario Land and you have his full Wario Land moveset which is why it's DLC and not the same playable character set as the base game. But then you also have all this Wonder Flower stuff happening with like new Wonder Flower effects. Managing his moveset and the wonderiness. Like maybe Nintendo's like, people won't buy a Wario Land anymore, but plenty of people bought Mario. So maybe we can get them back into Wario Land by having a Mario campaign. That would be something. Well, we certainly have time to look that up as I... <laughs> See if anyone fills this lobby for that last spot. Oh, the lobby decreased. All right, let's see what the internet says. Wario land shake it sales. Let's see, this game was 2008, which is such a long time ago now. Um, it had positive critic reception and... Mm, this only gives me sales up to December 2008. Ah, uh, VG charts. Here we go. Uh, now I have a match started, so I will continue looking at that chart when I am not streaming the game. Whee! And by not streaming the game, I mean not playing the game on the stream. Because I'm sure we'll have more downtime. God, the slashing machine feels so fast in this game compared to three. Unleash bombs. But where shall I throw them? Such is the question of life. Oh, yeah, I want their revenge. I think it's time for those bombs. Oh, there's no. Okay, I'm used to Splatoon 3's version of this map where you can jump off over there. Did not remember that partition. Lots of vibration on the gate pet. Are you also playing the sloshing machine? Oh wow, you know, I just remembered that it does not show on the UI up there what weapon the other team has. The way that it does in 3. Ah, oh, man. I was doing a good job of not dying. Take that again, Dynamo. I wonder if I can reduce the vibration because I feel like the mic must be picking that up quite a bit. Although maybe it's not. Just seems loud to me. Hey, it's the dynamo again. Let's kill him again. <laughs> ah! You hate to see it.
thought I activated my rush, but I don't even have my rush, so I don't know why I thought I activated it. Now I have it. Oh, Frank, I'm, I'm not trying to swim into that. Well, a million, not bad. <laughs> Plus, 2008 was kind of... Wait, was that late for the Wii? No, that was pretty early Wii. Anyway, that went poorly. I blame the E-leaders. It is pretty nice. Maybe I should pick a weapon I'm comfortable with and just stay in the lobby. <laughs> but then we don't get as much variety. Decisions, decisions. It is so much easier these days with sorting. <laughs> so very much. I'll just try a range blaster. I know I want to wear damage up on this. Like, that's unquestionable. Uh, sure, we'll go snorkel to get that main of damage, and then... Cold-blooded? Eh. Maybe just a bunch of quick respawn for when I die from missing my marks. Yeah, I'm gonna respawn so quickly, guys. Oh no, there we you broke. It's a uh, good time to stretch when you're waiting for the match to fill up. Of course it fills up now that we've redeemed a stretch, but I, the show will go on. Alright, I can play and stretch at the same time. Although you won't really see most of it. Maybe not that part. Uh. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> oh, I almost I could have had that sniper. When am I not dedicated would be the better question. <laughs> do 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 do. Oh, that's my team sniper. Oh, 
Yeah, direct. <laughs> Gotta love those accidental direct hits. Okay, I'm gonna back off and use my ink strike. Right here. You can see it go off over there. Oh, frick. I was about to say, if he didn't kill me, that would have been sad. I should have put up a wall. Do I hear beacons? No, I don't see any on the map. You always were. But now you're actually angry. Dorot! Because there's a guy in our base with a bomb brush at the very end. Well, it was worth it for those direct hits. Ironically, the guy whose name is Wii U Broke. Did not that, that actually lasted the match, and the Subaru was the one that broke down. <laughs> uh, keep in mind, this is a video game, and people name themselves how you feel, and you should not take that as a statement on the quality of a Subaru vehicle. I do not personally drive a Subaru vehicle, so I cannot speak to its quality one way or another. This has been your entirely impartial overview <laughs> of Subaru. Alright, I guess I want something ink heavy if I'm gonna keep doing in Turf War. <laughs> the day this stream gets sponsored by anyone is the day that, uh, well, I don't know, the, the day where I will wake up from that dream. <laughs> Not that I actively dream about stuff like that. <laughs> we did a bit of the squelcher the last time. That's a point sensor Kraken combo. Yeah, we've been getting Flounder Heights a bunch. Let's just go with the burst bomb strats. Make the walls nice and easy. Yeah, but now I'm really gonna want some swim speed. There we go, we'll go with that. And if we get Arowana Mall, the burst bombs will still be useful because it's got that giant incline in the middle. And a few walls to climb up. So, hey, the Wii U is broken again. I mean, we probably have repeat Japanese members as well, but I haven't been keeping track. Because those are all symbols I don't know how to read. Dooby dooby doo doo. Yeah, 
Let's see, so that was uh that was two matches that we had so far, right? Two complete matches that happened all the way through to the end. We'll see how many that number is by the end of the stream. <laughs> that number is not increasing by one right now. As a reminder, online interactions are not rated by the ESRB. And while this may be an E-rated game, or E10 rated even, that will not stop some people from naming themselves at an age-inappropriate level, and it showing up on this stream. But I swear sometimes, so like, it's not a huge deal to me. Well, there are ways around the filters, as many people discovered. <laughs> no, I don't think that's a 1. Might be a lowercase l. I wonder if something that simple got past him. You know, I do wonder what joy people derive from naming themselves certain things in online games. Like, to me, it doesn't really make sense. Alright. Time for the mall, which is... I was, that was probably my second least favorite map back when I was actively playing this. Maybe my opinions changed, I guess we'll find out. Oh, this ledge! Remember this ledge? Wow, that doesn't... This ledge isn't even really a thing anymore. Ooh. That's a big reason why I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> there is no escape from the center. None. Centered. And now he's dead. Rain down from above. I cannot believe I just fell into that seeker. And I also cannot believe who threw that seeker. <laughs> Cleaning up. Yeah, there were so many less avenues in this version of the map. I'll just clean this up in the meantime. Anyone camping here? Nope. All right. Hmm. Not the optimal use of that, I imagine. Ah, it brushes down. You're down. 
ink up their side a bunch at very, the very end. And one more kill on that egg, Oh. Boom. Well, that was satisfying. Let's see if staying in the lobby makes it go any better. Doob doob doo doo. Roger Dodger. And then whatever that says. Man, what else? What else? Hmm. I am having trouble thinking of additional talking points because my mind, these past bunch of days, before the Halloween concert, my mind was flooded by that. And now my mind has just been flooded by, oh god, my day job. Uh, the light blue, light orange combo that you see in the Flounder Heights thumbnail there is pretty good. Uh, I also like the pinks. And let's see. I do like the yellow in Splatoon 3. They didn't really have a good yellow until that game. If they even had yellow prior to that game. But if they did have yellow prior, it was not good. Uh, this is a pretty nice shade of blue, or purple, or indigo. I'd say this is closer to blue, but I guess you would call this an indigo. But I see very slight hints of purple in this. Before I go inking that up, let's use my special. I didn't kill anyone. I'll ink this little area around the spawn point. Well, the, a new Pokemon generation doesn't have to be colors, because, you know, at one point they went with Diamond and Pearl. Like, I know Ruby and Sapphire originally was just red and blue, but in jewel form. And then X and Y, of course. Uh, Sun and Moon, the celestial bodies. And Sword and Shield. Uh, let's see, if I was naming Gen 10. Hmm. I need two things or two ideas that are either opposite or complementary in some way. Well, I mean, okay, so before I name a totally new one. I do think Scarlet and Violet could have instead been something like Ultra Red, uh, no, sorry, not Ultra Red, Infra Red and Ultra Violet might have been more interesting names to me because then at least you're talking like light and color spectrums, which is a, a different angle on the whole red and blue thing. But also just the fact that Scarlet ended up being orange. Like, when I hear Scarlet, I think red. And like, that's how it is in most media. You ever hear of a thing called the Scarlet Letter? They weren't wearing an orange letter.
Yeah, but it wouldn't be red, it would be infrared, which is different from red and fire red. The spawn kept things all real. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon weren't. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that roller has questionable naming schemes, but clearly knows their way around the roller. The connection was lost. Oh, well, I guess that's the game telling me to switch over to Splat Zones. Because I think in less than 30 minutes it's gonna rotate. So if I wanna show Splat Zones in this stream, then I should do it now. I have base and zap. And we'll do that. Little utility. That should be good. Gun Beetle is a good one, and much more creative than the name that they wrote for themselves. <laughs> Alright. Pokemon Generations. Hmm. They do like their space stuff. So I guess one option would be... Well, nah, Pokemon Meteoroid doesn't really roll off the tongue. I was gonna say Asteroid and Meteoroid. As flying space rocks go. Um... Hmm... You know, I don't envy whoever has to try and name the 10th generation. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, this is another alternative name for Gen 9. <laughs> another alternative Gen 9 gen name for Gen 9 would have been Pokemon Rose and Pokemon Violet. And then you could have just named the schools after flowers instead of fruits. Rose is red, but short. And Violet is blue. It's, it would literally have been red and blue, but in flower form. Which is what they're going for, right? <laughs> Another red and blue comparison. In fact, it might have even fit better with the Teal Mask DLC, because, like, Ogre Pond is grassy. You wouldn't have had to change the name the Teal Mask, because it's a DLC thing. And Teal is still a color, like the Red Rose and the Violet Violets. <laughs> ah, frick. That's gonna screw us. <laughs> They are two up. That's a lot of defense. Um, uh, Pokemon pen and pencil. <laughs> uh. God damn it. This Yuki person. Oh, sure. That, that, uh, yep, definitely. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. I mean, even coming up with the names in the first place, but then localizing has definitely got to be a combined challenge. Ah, in intensity. I fought the Trizuga and the Trizuga won. 
Oh, it's not a trizooka, it's an inkzooka. I forgot about that. Wow, okay. I literally fought that guy thinking he was using the Splatoon 3 trizooka and that he would run out of shots. I mean, they do run out of shots eventually, but that one takes much longer. Is there really any point in killing this guy? They're not anywhere near the objective. Should have just focused on the zone. I killed the Inzuka this time. I killed two of them, guys. Take the zone. Take the zone. Take it. You better take it. Guys, take it. You're up on them. Take it. Oh, come on. That was such a cheap bubbler. I had how many shots into him? At least three. Locator. Why is this not ours? Okay. Can't just swim in here with me around, yes! No, he's still a bubbler. Oh god. Ah. Hello, number 165 there. I also haven't played in, well, I haven't played this game in a week, but before that, it was years. But you can't play this game and not show the multiplayer, even though this was like a single player campaign dream series for the most part. Yeah, it is wild how many things are the different and also the same and like how much I like this game better but how much I also don't <laughs> there's not really a definitive Splatoon entry in my mind at this time they've all got something Make this happen, people. Okay, let me wait until they're all up and then I'll echo locate again. There's still two down. Okay, we really gotta hold this zone. You're not getting that side. And you're not staying alive. Whichever way you're going, I'm gonna say no. Just gotta keep him shut up. Oh god, no! No! We were five seconds. Five seconds. I would like to point out that up until I died, we were winning that. And then the second I die is when everything goes to shit. I think I pulled my weight. 
Oh man, I'm sorry for your Wii U pack. <laughs> yeah, well, it's hard not to. <laughs> It must have been at least a hundred bucks. I mean, it depends if it was back in the day of the Wii U being readily available, or if it was after the fact. Oh man. Uh, you know, oddly, I never ended up breaking my Wii U gamepad. Uh, but uh, in the Splatoon 2 days, there was a period of time where I absolutely completely quit the game because I had reached for like the first time ever and broke a Switch Pro Controller in the process. Not this one, but a different one. I mean, you grew closer to a good game, metaphorically and physically. <laughs> All right, both sides have an E leader, and we're back in Piranha Pit. Oh, Frank. I hate dying that quickly first because it means you know the other team has the number advantage. At least for those few seconds it takes to respawn. Which can mean everything. Well, now they're down. <laughs> well, God. Okay. Glad my teammate distracted that guy. Oh, frick. I was just turning around to see if anyone was coming after me. Anyway, you know, it would be great uh, to answer that other question. It would be great if water was my favorite beverage because, you know, that's like the best beverage to drink on an objective level. Got. No, I must admit there is parts of me that much prefer other beverage types, but I will drink water, which is good. <laughs> I mean, you could make that same statement about disconnecting when it comes to this game as a whole. No, ah! Conveyor belt got me. Got that guy off his perch at least. Zone, zone, here we go. <laughs> I knew you were talking about the gamepad, I was just trying to extend your statement. Although I guess that's more a problem nowadays in 2023 when there's not many people vying for those lobby spots. Does that include the Wii U Splatoon? 
<laughs> that statement. Because, I mean, I actually heard some pretty positive reception on Foam Stars. I don't have a platform by which to play it, nor am I interested in playing it, but <laughs> I've heard people say it's actually kind of okay. If it's free to play and it's on the Steam and it gets deck verified, then maybe. But that would just be to try it out. I personally think that, like, it's the characters. Like, I don't know what's going on with the characters, but they're all just like, I don't care about them. And by comparison, this game doesn't really have characters. It's a make-your-own-avatar situation, and they all look roughly the same, but... Man, there's really no precedent for whether they would remaster this game, since it was their first major online foray. It would be neat if they did. And I would support it. But unfortunately, I just don't see them doing it. I feel like they currently view this franchise as each number is a definitive replacement for the previous. When, in fact, I think my earlier statement stands, they all have something going on. And there's not a definitive Splatoon entry. is a nice object or concept here's a wild idea for Pokemon generation 10 that would absolutely never happen you ready Pokemon life and Pokemon death <laughs> yes I was still thinking about it Pokemon Life version, Pokemon Death version. <laughs> sure, that was the theme, but it wasn't the name. I should give you like two extra seconds to type a follow-up sentence because I keep saying things that you're about to say. <laughs> okay, other opposites. You think they would ever just go for Pokemon Yin and Pokemon Yang? <laughs> I feel like other languages have a concept that grasp of that concept, despite it not originating. <laughs> Damn it. 
Too many of them. Okay, two down. I think part of your sentence got cut off while you were typing it. That's <laughs> fine. Okay, Ed. Yeah, I have a plus. I mean, you can kind of see that from the stream. Uh, I was also trying to get to S at one point, and I, I just couldn't. It got too frustrating. People were too good. And, like, that was the whole thing with how in this game your rank is tied to all the modes, so... If I thought I was better at Rainmaker, for example, then I would have to wait every time for Rainmaker. Or be like, well, I could play that other mode, which is kind of fun, but I don't want to lower my rank because I'm not as good at it. Oh, we climbed up there. Smart. It had S, but that's all it had. I don't think they had X in this one. Although, if they ever had X, I would have never found out for myself, you know? Because I never even made it to S. Alright, where are they? There's another one. Dying. <laughs> oh, you know what? They didn't have the ouch button in this game. I just tried to hit up on the D-pad to go ouch, and I don't think that happened. Ah, stuck. I feel like I get stuck on stuff so much more in this game. Investigating our little right side issue. I do like the utility of the echo locator. Yeah, we lost this miserably. Maybe soup and salad are the next ones to become actual Pokemon, like how we have, you know, the tea Pokemon, and the milk Pokemon, and the, uh, ice cream Pokemon, and also... <laughs> oh, I think our team had a DC, because that other NZAP on the team had uh, uh, OO, and we only lost one point. Hmm, maybe the rotation's not happening at this time. Maybe it is another hour away. Okay, so let's see. Jade and Quartz are gems, certainly. 
How about sound and light? The concept of vision and the concept of hearing. It's that does that overlap with any of the previous generations? <laughs> All right, it's my first actually viable idea. Woo! Although I guess light would also have the opposite of dark and that's black and white although black and white was truth and ideals yes I do remember those <laughs> and then you see what happened <laughs> You see what happened is they designed the giant plaza where you go to school in Scarlet Violet and they realized we can't add a 19th type right now because we're going to design this giant plaza circle with 18 spokes and we need that to be symmetrical. And adding a 19th spoke just wouldn't work. See, I'm not the only NZAP fan. Blaster was on me. Oh my god. You know, I do have a... I have a contender for the most over-designed Pokemon. And like, maybe I'm wrong about it, because I'm sure it was based on an actual tropical fish. And uh, it's pretty true to that material, and blah de blah de blah But I just don't like the way it looks, and I've always felt like it just has too much. And that's Bruxish. In fact, the lips. Oh, Frank. Tried to get behind him. But thumb for last star again. Oh, my God. You gotta do something about that guy. Time, it's just that blaster. <laughs> what? How did that bomb not kill him? What? He dropped down. Yeah, I figured there was an actual fish it was based on. <laughs> and 
That's how you avoid a killer whale. Ah! This is this is just sad. This is so sad. Now they're on our ledge up here. Zone. Why, why is it so hard to take this out? Oh, we had control. Oh my god. Here I thought I'm there. Here I thought I was trying to take control. I don't mind Quake Playable, but I understand. Maybe I'm a little more lenient on him just because I have that very slight dense background, so I kind of know what they're emulating. Whereas I'm not nearly as familiar with Tropical Fish. <laughs> change gear which means exiting the lobby because these are the olden days although even splatoon 3 had a period where you couldn't change gear in a ranked lobby because it's gonna break the balance Hey, one of these. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess it's fitting that we're talking about Pokemon in any capacity because we got the release date for the second half of the Gen 9 DLC. That's December 14th, if anyone hasn't heard. Searching for a battle to join. This session is at least going smoother than last week's. I mean, granted, last week we spent half the time trying to beat the Amiibo challenges, and then another chunk of time just trying to get my Wii U to connect to my internet. <laughs> I mean, with it already connected to the internet, it went much better. Who would have thought?
I am the splatling cuckoo kachoo. I mean, feel free to suggest a different topic. <laughs> Slow down there. Not the best place for a wall. Oh, and this one you can't throw out one until your first one runs out. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Voltorb had the excuse of being a mimic. Oh, great. And then, of course, Foon Dust came in for Gen 5 to fill that same role. Oh, we were so close to taking the lead. Gotta take that zone back. There we go. <laughs> for now. Woohoo! Got you. Oh, they also had ink recovery lag. Forgot about that. I sent someone behind me. Our lead is much bigger now, but it's not over yet. Take our side deck, please, Dex. It's the only way we're gonna get any more points. Frick, frick, frick. I forgot I even had an ink strike, and we got this far without me using it. And then I pull it out, and of course I fumble on actually using it. Ah, well, thank you. Unless, of course, you're trolling me and just saying that, but I mean, I see that you actually did that. So I do appreciate it. <laughs> I am open to possibly playing this more in the future, the, the Wii U one. I occasionally delve into the current ones. 
Uh, but it's, it's a variety over here. And currently that variety includes Kirby and piano. I play music. Uh, and yeah, I've got some fun ideas for December because that'll be the month of my birthday. And my birthday is also my affiliate anniversary. Where that go? Come on, team. Just gotta take the other side. All right, there we go. Woo! It will be most adjacent. I can guarantee that it will not be on my birthday because my birthday happens to this year be the same day that Jeff Keighley decided to do the Game Awards. And not that I particularly care what the Game Awards think about the games of the year. But yeah, I always watch it with a group of friends so that we can rag on it together and see the announcements. So I don't put any stock into what that panel says is the best game of the year or anything. They hardly even spend time on the awards. They'll just rattle off winners at random points. But yeah, that's the same day as my birthday this year. Uh, and that's a Thursday. So I figure that the... Uh, that we might be able to get you in there if you're interested. But, uh, no, there's no stream for it. <laughs> that, that's difficult to set up with the syncing and stuff. Not even the copyright issues, although there would be copyright issues. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, what was I... Alright, so, I was thinking the day after. Since it would be... The day after is a Friday. And we could do like a three-day weekend sort of deal. And so that would be the affiliate anniversary. <laughs> and at some point this month, I am going to share my little proposal for what's happening on each of those days. And get feedback from you guys before doing it. As for where all that stuff happens, <laughs> this is a good time to use this command that I have. <laughs> I, there are times where I should use this command and I don't. <laughs> but it is a thing that exists. Yeah, we, uh, the, during September, we talked about ideas for it and I came up with something based on those ideas. Essentially something for the Friday, the Saturday, and the Sunday. They're all themed around the number five. Sort of. <laughs> Some are themed around the number five. So that's going to be a huge variety thing. Because uh, right now, as far as the rest of this year goes, the only main series that we're still working on is Kirby. We'll be getting back to Kirby this weekend. And then uh, I don't know how many more streams it's going to take to get through Kirby. Because I don't know how long the epilogue is. I think it might be short enough that since it's not blazing hot in here this time, I can probably finish the epilogue on Saturday. That's my impression, but I don't know for sure. Because that part's blind. The extra challenges in Magoland stuff, that's gonna depend on how lucky I get with some of the things. And that's even if I commit to doing the Magoland stuff, I might just nope out of it if it gets to be too hard. But I'll try it. 
I'd like to show a little bit of extra mode. Not do an entire second playthrough, but yeah. cover the differences. Or at least the early part of it. And then we talked about popping in the original game in the 20th anniversary collection disc to fill in any gaps from the deluxe port. So, all that put together. Don't know how many streams that is, but we'll get through it. Ah, oh, that bomb really got me. Nice dinosaur. Something that everybody get up on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. That slasher is well positioned, and that bomb was even better positioned. <laughs> I will give it up to that slasher whose name I can't read. They are doing a good job. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're not on my team. Guys. <laughs> Another time I just fell for that bomb. All oh, right, I have walls. tower they can get off okay we got that guy middle towers down Just gotta find my groove again Don't forget to check behind you because they'll come there Back to spawn, back to spawn, back to spawn. I was trying to jump back to spawn. <laughs> really, game. Oh my god, that killed me? Really? Platoon 1 is brutal. <laughs> What if I take this side? Well, then they're gonna slash at me. It isn't very helpful. to have happened at some point in all my time playing Splatoon because I've played quite a bit of Splatoon but I cannot think of any particular instances off the top of my head to recall exactly what happened but I I, I have to imagine Freaking Inksuka. That was a panic special and it worked. Oh, I, oh when I played this game last week, uh, and I'm, I'm talking about this specific Splatoon. Right, I did a little bit of this multiplayer last week, and I am pretty sure, as far as I can recall, there would be video evidence of this, because I streamed and recorded it. But I'm pretty darn sure that during one of my matches last week, I did manage to kill someone with a sprinkler. 
That's always a fun thing to do. Well, I walked right into that. Probably not the right time to go walking right into that when we're trying to win in overtime. I'm coming, I'm coming. Wow, they took that that fast. <laughs> Okay, so this Splatling is not as much my 4K as the NZAP. <laughs> yeah, but it's like the best feeling when you're the one who makes it happen. <laughs> I think it's time for me to relive my squiffer glory. Hmm. Do I want my damage? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep the same comp. I'm, I'm not playing ideal gear, I'm sure. But... The longer I take sorting through gear, the less matches I'm gonna be able to stream before I stop. <laughs> Oh, there's the trade. It's a skate park once again. Now they have a regular sniper. Look at them all fancy. Alright, I'm gonna come down this left side. I see this guy yanking the zone. I'm gonna try and put a little bit of a stop to that. I sniped him. That'll certainly get the job done. And now this other guy's after me. I've been disrupted. I should have had that snipe, but I missed. I keep getting disrupted. I see the other snipers. Laser pointer, and I don't like that. Let's go crack it. Oh, someone echo locator. That's great. The Splatoon 1 service is up until April. I don't remember when in April, but it's going to be this coming April. And if you want to play this game past April online, then you will need to seek alternative methods. myself again. Oh yeah, suction bomb. Okay, I didn't really do much with that Kraken, but... Take that zone back. <laughs> oh man, thought I was on the ramp. No, they got the control. And our penalty isn't even 69, it's 68.
Oh no, they are not doing a comeback. Uh, nope, never did. I wouldn't even know how. All I know is that it exists. I preferred the start of this match where I was killing everybody. Occasionally tried to squid roll in these matches to <laughs> navigate these maps. It's obviously not working. sure what those would be. That hit me? Oh, maybe it was that. I guess he was standing at a different place. Hmm. that suction bomb would do him in. We still have the lead, but why is this guy standing there? What? Everything is a blur. Oh my god, god, did you, did that guy seriously give up? We were winning. Ignore the people, just take the zone. Ugh. This is frustrating. Oh my god. was so stupid that would that, that, that was so stupid I I know I stopped hitting my mark pretty early in the match those four snipes were all really close together at the beginning but like the guy who was he was standing in the base and we were trying to stop them from winning in overtime he could have been doing stuff ah! okay then just okay Any weapon requests? <laughs> I have all of them. Is that the soda slosher? Regular sloshers and I have the sofa slosher. 
And I have the Grim Range Blaster. And I'm not sure where the energy comes from. Now you meant the Grim Blaster. <laughs> Alright, we're um, I saw Grim Range first, but then I'll do the Junior. It's green. It's fiery. It blasts stuff from a range. And most importantly, it has burst bombs. <laughs> Splattershot Juniors. Oh, sorry. You want the place next door. Super Splat- Custom Splatter Shot Juniors! <laughs> I can't imagine how people named summer for uh, and get through the winter months. You know, I don't know any actual Tai Chi, but I can imagine this music being good for Tai Chi. All fear the trickster wimp. The trickster wimp shall bow before the, I mean, the other way around. No, not so sure. The evolution, perhaps, but... And it's written in their name. Let's see now. I mean, if they were competitively viable, then they would be wind pods. Favorite name. Name. Hmm. Name. Name, 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 name. Well, while I think on names, I'm gonna approach the zone and try and get an early blast on someone. Didn't quite do that. First bomb should help keep them at bay. Oh, dang, that suction bomb hit me. There's so many puns in there, and I'm such a pun guy. There's plenty I could pick. Yeah. 
Oh, he turned into a Kraken as I was about to burst bomb him. Lame. There you go, first bomb to blast combo. Darn it. Could have just gotten the killer whale ready. Someone. Blaster is not my main by any means. <laughs> but I got that guy. That's something. Nearly dodged that suction bomb. Coming up on the right side. They're gonna be clumped there. He won the blaster duel. Maybe I just need to get a whale going and position it accordingly. for that bomb. Well, it depends on the game, of course, because some songs never carried over. Uh, my favorite in this one is Hook, and if I'm hearing right, that might actually be playing right now. I do have a soft spot for anything that gives a piano lead, since that is my instrument. Not you! Take this up. Yes. Finally on the board. Oh my god, it's so much stuff. Solo piano. How many games do I know that have solo piano? I suppose it would be cheating to say Debussy's Claire de Lune, which shows up in Danganronpa V3. <laughs> that song was not made for that game. The game just used that song, but they use a solo piano version. <laughs> yeah, I figured you meant original. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> I'm going to switch to the junior, and... Thinking here, I haven't heard a lot of the newer Splatoon 3 songs. Uh, Splatoon 2, though, would be... It's my favorite of that. I mean, if Splatfest stuff counts, then...
Danganronpa V3 has an original soundtrack. It's just that they also have the uh, Claire de Lune. Okay, uh, if Splatfest stuff counts, then it's got to be... Uh, what's the one? Is it Ebb and Flow that I'm thinking of? I'm pretty sure it's Ebb and Flow. Uh, yeah, Splatoon 3 has an in-game one, but there's been a lot to play lately. Mario's a good recent example. Just haven't really stopped and appreciated that jukebox. Uh, but of what I've heard in Splatoon 3, Till Death Do Us Part, which was the second Splatfest song that they introduced. And I've covered that one, by the way. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, if I cover it, it generally means I like the song. <laughs> Either that or I think the song was so poorly conceived that I'm trying to improve it. <laughs> but most of the time, I just play the stuff I like. Um, anyway, the only... Th I'm struggling to think of games that have solo piano songs in them that are not just classical songs. And the only one that I can think of is in Ickenfell. Well, I said I was thinking about that one, but th there's a very strong possibility. Oh, I'd have to re-listen to that one, but that would probably be a better contender than the Ickenfell one. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Ickenfell one is good, but it's kind of basic. I appreciate string instruments, but you know, my affinity is always with the piano because I know how to play that one. <laughs> uh, was that in your list of Steam demo topics? Were there some in there that had it? Yeah. Uh, as a runner-up to the Splatoon battle theme question, anything by the Chirpy Chirps would be a good second place for regular battle themes. I just like Hooked slightly more. Um, I'd say Copeland and Glass get more talk of those four, because those are the two that I recognize. <laughs> One more for the lobby. One more. <laughs> you know you want to give me one more player. You know it. This game demands to give me one more player. It will not live if it does not give me one more player.
Anyway, you guys gearing up for the holidays? Because, <laughs> you know, the society is all like, okay, Halloween is over. Everyone get on the holiday hype train. <laughs> In fact, the... Do 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 is... Can do a little of that and a little of... Do I still have the other one? I do. There you go. <laughs> Happy holidays on November 2nd. Because that's what society says. Side here, just cover this whole half pipe with my junior spread. I guess now I'm the middleman. Was about to get blasted. <laughs> right when I had a bubbler. Of this ledge just to get a few extra special points. Now I'll try and take back the left side from the rebels. Blue rebels, you won't make me happy, happy. That was an earthbound reference. They're striking! I'm gonna kill at least one of them while I had my bubble. Oh, they are up on our numbers. Darn it. Spread got me on that one. Ugh. Suddenly not looking good for us. Decided to lay off that guy in favor of getting the zone back if I can help it. Surprise bubble. No, not now. <laughs> oh my god. No! This is not a good time. I should be- Ah! <laughs> Man! Man! Now I'm only 8 plus 15. I'll just go in the tar 4. Could be a spin-off game. Or just a separate mode. Hey, like, here's Splatoon 4. Now there's like a free for all mode. But there's still the other modes. Uh, if they do a Splatoon spin-off, I would want a proper rhythm game that isn't, like, Squid Beats. Well, Slam and Run, uh, Slam and Run is currently my favorite mode in Splatoon 3. So, I think I would. Of course, it would, it would depend on the what's in it, but... Pretty likely. <laughs> J 
Just need one more, Lobby. Just one more. I mean, they're, they have a platformer in the game already. It's the single player. And sometimes there's puzzles involved. did attempt a remaster of Splatoon 1 for modern platforms, meaning the Switch family of systems and potential successors, because that topic came up earlier. Oh no, Bass Ackwards was saying if there was hypothetically DLC for Salmon Run. Would I buy it? That's what I was answering. Right now, it's just DLC for the single player. And of course, Side Order isn't actually out until next spring, so... Anyway, if they were to remaster the game, I, uh, I was starting to talk about it because of the Salmon Run topic. I'm like, if they did a Splatoon 1 remaster, I would hope that they would actually give a Splatoon 1 version of Salmon Run as, like, an added thing. Because the original never had it. And so it would just uh, fall in line with the other games. Uh, to this game specifically, I would want all the quality of life menu improvements <laughs> that were in Splatoon 2 and 3. It's been... One of the biggest pains has been not being able to sort my weapons when I'm looking for one. <laughs> uh, so that'd be one change. Probably the most important change for this game. <laughs> in a remaster. Uh, and then I guess you would count Salmon Run as a change. Having a Splatoon 1 Salmon Run would just be cool and extend the game. And then as for one more... Bubbler kill. <laughs> I'm not terribly into table turf, but I mean, they could. Well, think of it this way. The sequels add to the lore of the first game because they all take place in the same universe. Right? A lot of the maps return. And events in the single player are canon between the previous game and its sequel. I was like, okay, time passed, and Splatoon 2 happened. And then, yeah, we learned about the existence of the Salmonids. But, you know, Splatoon 1, same universe, so there are still Salmonids in Splatoon 1, we've just never seen them. Control A. Eh? Alright, so we're gonna go a little further just so I can do tower control. Change things up. Uh, 
And let's see. I did do a bit of tower control last week. I'm gonna be stupid. There was a while where I was running the Bamboozler in, was it two or three? In either Splatoon or th two or three, I started running the Bamboozler a little more consistently. It never really became a main, but I tried to learn it a bit more. I think it was two. Right, I mean, in the 3 DLC, they give you an option to pick Salmon Run in Ingopolis. They added a new little building for it, so. But yeah, have a Salmon Run with the Splatoon 1 physics and weapons and stuff in a Splatoon 1 remaster. Would be neat. Oh, frick, they got behind us. I don't know, I've only played Sea of Scars, not the Messenger, so can't answer that one. Okay, now we're talking. The squipper. I like the squipper. I mean, Nintendo's no stranger to doing the whole future to the past thing. If you look at Luigi's Mansion 3DS. Like, Luigi's Mansion 3DS, they actively changed the lore of that game because of Luigi. They definitely had Splatoon drinks. Probably a lot more than that in Japan. We've never actually gotten on the tower. And I would have liked to have gotten on the tower, but I keep dying and then my teammates don't take it. We'll get on the tower. At least that now it's started. Who can I blame for my own shortcomings? Yeah. 
I can blame no name. No name with the splash o -matic. It's all their fault. <laughs> yeah, I get to be. I am blameless. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> That is a false thing. Do not believe that. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do one more tower control. And in that tower control... I have a fun idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's regular now. No. <laughs> As a reminder, you're not hearing my full evil laugh because other people live here and it's a little late at night. But uh, that was pretty close to how my evil laugh goes whenever I have an evil plan for my students. Remember, kids, all teachers are evil and are actively plotting your demise. They don't want you to succeed. It's not in their job description at all. And if it wasn't clear, those last two sentences were sarcasm. Uh, okay, um, I, I actually have a story about sarcasm. <laughs> Forgive me if I told this, but I recently had a student, and we were talking, and they said something, and I sarcastically said, Oh yeah, that was very helpful. And I feel so bad, <laughs> because <laughs> the student genuinely thought <laughs> that I meant that. And there was a moment of like, oh, thank you. And I was like. <laughs> and then the other students were like, oh, he didn't mean that. And then they were like, oh. <laughs> so there you go, dream crushing. That's it, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, what weapon was that? Ah, oh, no wonder, Squelcher. Now there's always a need for him, so as long as you take whatever steps, then should be no issue making it happen. Ooh, I get to do my fun idea now. No, no, no! God, ah, they killed me. I wanted to crack in the tower. You know how that goes. Risky jump. Oh. You were so bad at math that it came out his mouth. I don't have another crack in Yes, my guy was trying to jump on that ledge. And somehow the ink strike got me. 
to be. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you see that tower just... <laughs> Like, I know it's connection stuff for that play, but, you know, <laughs> still looked funny. I mean, I feel like I helped push it a little there, but... for every Canadian who I've talked with about their desire to become a math teacher, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's interesting that it happened twice. I'm not going to say weird, because, like, there's plenty of Canadians and plenty of math teachers. <laughs> I just wanted to invoke the meme. even though it wasn't really the contributing factor to winning that. <laughs> All right, yeah, so there was still some pretty heavy wait time on some of the matches, but... But, 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 it still went pretty smooth compared to last week, so... You can still find some life in the official servers on Splatoon, at least for the couple months that they're left up and running but that's gonna be my official send-off for the game as like a series if I come back to this game it'll be a one-off but we've pretty much seen what the Wii U original has to offer and I'm getting one last stretch command as I do the outro <laughs> Ah, well, if I do play this game in the future, I'm gonna go with the very obvious pun for that reward and say that you should Splatoon in for it. Or I could play two or three. <laughs> That's also a possibility. <laughs> but as I said, in the near future, we got Kirby. We got talks about big events in December. We'll have a piano stream probably on the improvisational side and some other random little one-offs just to fill out the rest of 2023. Besides Kirby, we'll just do stuff like that. And then I'll start a new series fresh in 2024. But maybe not something as long as Final Fantasy VII. Because <laughs> that one ate up most of this year. <laughs> it was so long. I am staying fresh. <laughs> With plenty... Um, who knows what? Honestly, and I haven't decided what the, all the one-offs are gonna be. But it should be good. But if you like Kirby, stick around. And if you want to see what else random is happening, also stick around. Hi, thanks for coming out tonight. I salute you, Splatoon on Wii U. And I hope you have a good one. Both Splatoon and the audience. <laughs> 